the shit? Flash? Okay, here we go. Guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of the channel. Today we are playing more of Alan Wake 2. Now, I just left off. Uh, literally just stopped filming that previous episode. So, um, I wanted to get back into this. I hope you are well. Make sure you get your drinks, your snacks. We're in Watery right now and we're trying to get to the trailer, right? Because that's where... We're looking for the clicker, okay? Um, which the cult of the tree has. So, let's uh, continue where we left off. Let's do this. Okay, so this is where we left off, right? We're in Watery and we've got to ask around, essentially. So, let's, um, let's start back here. And let's just walk through figuring out what's going on. I reckon there's going to be like. What did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground. So, well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. Hmm. Yeah. Look at the flooding. Look how high this is. Wow. So, we got to basically try and figure out... Be a hand in helping out? Uh, I'm supervising the work. And? And it's super. Hmm, interesting. Looks like you don't want to get off your ass and do it, bro. That's what it sounds like. Just be honest with him. Like, just be honest. Like, why are you trying to lie and hide it? And who are you? You keep looking at me. Are you okay, man? Are you good? You're definitely part of the cult of the tree. Another vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for every for watering. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Right? Okay. 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 It devours us. Oh. Oh. It's a band. That's got to be a copyright. See, where is the time gone? The laughing. Here's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. The what? The laughing... What does that... I don't know how to pronounce that. Fresh seafood. What's down here? Watery's definitely quaint. Good to see you. Good to see you too, bro. You just keep, uh, keep yourself... I bet up. they have good fish here. Sammy's catch of the day. It probably is, actually, because it's completely fresh fish, right? It's got to be... I mean, yeah, go over to that now. Who's in there? Bro, I fully heard... So you're not going to check that out. Saga, you're not going to check that out. You are crazy. What's down here? This can't be the right way. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, there's a lighthouse up there. Yeah, let's... Um I can hear music, so it's probably going to be a copyright. Uh, what I'll probably... Oh, we'll just have to, we're just going to have to go in and hope for the best, right? YouTube's going to hate me for it. Dude, look at this. There's so much. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, this goes right back, doesn't it? Look at this. Oh, what's in here? Lovely. I mean, we'll take that. I mean, we, have, we we will take that. I mean, there's just so much here. You, you're, I mean, you look like you've got no sleep. You're definitely, you look a little bit like um, Argus Filch from uh, Harry Potter, bro. Where's Mrs. Norris at? You're definitely part of the cult. 100%. Boat storage and repair. And who are you? Hello. Who? Hello. Are you what? Are you CIA? Like, get the aviators. Tom Cruise? You, you think you're an extra on Top Gun? Get the shades off. Ma'am, get the shades off in this dark, misty ass, clouded, clouded, cloudy weather, bro. Get your shades off, please. Right. How can you help me? I want to do that, but... Oh my gosh, that's the guy. Hang on, let's just talk to this guy. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. 
Uh, Thor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Okay then. Catchy tune. I'm looking for a trailer. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Up there. Ilmo Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Are you from around here? Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I don't think I, I Mr. have. Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? You? Oh. Right, well, I'm probably going to play music over this. But this is the guy. We've, we've met this guy. But with Alan Wake. Hello there, man. You okay? Excuse me. Do you not know where Archie's in the middle of a show? I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. <laughs> right. What's this up here? Um, Lumi Murto. Uh, what's this? Some stuff here. Okay. Moose Fest meets Sumi Hall. Raffles karaoke skits. Gologi. Uh, I can't pronounce them. Sorry, guys. Come on, come all. Welcome to Coffee World. Whatever kind of amusement park opens in Watery, I'm sure all of our readers know Imo Koskela, who, with the help of his brother Jacko, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business adventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening around the corner. I had the chance to ask Elmo a few questions about Coffee World. Elmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages, all right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, deals, and excitement you could ask for, and of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and iced. Put that in. How did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm about, I'm all about ideas, an idealist, you could say. But what's even more important to me than, me than my many successful businesses in our hometown, with my help, we can revitalize Wall Street, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process too. Coffee World is just as much of a town for the townspeople as it is for the out-of-towners. Which attraction should visitors not miss? Oh, that's like having to choose a favourite child. It's impossible, but the slow coaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget the drop to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find. Coffee at last, I bet. Yes. Okay. What's this? A terrifying, um, a terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. Tom the Poet, a film by Thomas Zane, a principle of light in an ocean of darkness, starring. So, okay. Oh, based on a novel by Alan Wake. Tom the Poet, interesting. Oh no, look at this. Thomas Zane as the diver, Barbara Jager as the dark presence, Cynthia Weaver as the Lady of the Light, Emil Hartman as the assistant, written and directed by Thomas Zane, based on a novel by Alan Wake. And it's this one as well, the dark doppelganger in the art of the life of Thomas Zane. Yeah. Guest lecturer by the president of Bright Falls Film Society, Thomas Emerson. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in his film, The Poet, The Writer, The Diver, Thomas the Rhymer, 24th November 2023. It's ever. Yeah, it's nothing else. Damn, bro! You didn't realize—I didn't realize she had such a good voice. She's loving it. She's not even on this planet right now. Look at her, bless her. She's completely out of it. She's in her own world. Aye, there's the map. There's the map, baby. There's the map. There we go. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, this is massive. So we can—we actually go to Coffee World. We can actually go to Coffee World. That's so cool. There's the lighthouse park. That's where we've got to go. Here. 
Okay. Okay. We're making moves. Can we go through here? Yes, we can, baby. Yes, we can. So, wait. Look at the map. Is the general store here? Maybe. Please. Please. We've got to do an investigation. There's a container in the back, apparently, that I didn't pick up. I want that shotgun in Colgen Lake. I really want that shotgun. Oh wait, wait, whoa, 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 Quick save. And we can switch realities here. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's to um Yeah, of course, that's to that back the the stage. Right, well let's get out and let's First of all, get that container. There's a container that I missed. Where was that? Just here? Yeah, just there. Huh. Let's go back a little bit. Let's find that then. Where was that? What, in here? Oh, here! Thank you. How are we looking with our gears and items. We're looking pretty good, right? We're, we're looking pretty good. Our keys and items are looking quite cool. Obviously, we got the maze stuff, haven't we? I keep forgetting about that. So, I think we need to go. Do we go to our car to then go there? The road is closed. So, Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. A trailer park. Ilmo Cascala. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. Right, okay. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. It does seem nice when you're not stuck in a nightmare reality. And who are you? Oh, it's a sort. Enjoy the Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. That I've read nice. that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. About the cult of the tree. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. Clever man. If one of them shows up. How am I supposed to get away? Clever man. I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. I would say Probably no. smart just to stay in the sauna for now. I mean, who wouldn't want to stay in the sauna? That looks so eerie. That actually reminds me of The Last of Us Part 2, the um the load the main menu once you complete the game. You guys Sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. I'm starting to wonder if you go into non if you go into the nudity mode. I'm starting to think these towels don't exist. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I I, I fear if you click if you click um to allow nudity. Can we can we load up this please? I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. I would not in the radio and not in the sauna. I would bet that you can, um, is that, oh boy, that's just bugged out for me, hasn't it? That sucks. Can't lie to you. There we go. Hey! Hello? Whew. Hot. There's only a small sauna, though. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of room. There's a bit of room in here. There's, there's room to get nice and comfortable. I thought that was, um, a point of interest, then. Huh? Okay. What's around the back here? Anything much? See how it's starting to settle down? Do you, uh, do you see what I mean? How this is settling down? How, like, we're relaxed? Hey, Saga! Over here! Yeah, hang on, boys. Is that my car? I don't think so. Hi, guys. Haven't seen you in ages. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. 
I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the web page. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. About the Cult of the Tree, I'm looking for a trailer. About the Cult of the Tree. Are you familiar with the Cult of the Tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. Mm. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Yeah, that's it. I'm looking for a trailer. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. She lives in one of this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry, they've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Yeah. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Oh, okay. So what on. is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Right. About your commercials. So... Your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh... Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. I should make sure I've gotten everything out of profiling. Long day, sir. Sounds Flooding like Flooding did this? Definitely not. Let's go to the case board. We've got a few things for the case. Let's go to the story. What are we looking at for later? It still says for later. Okay. Fact versus fiction. A new one? Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real. And what's fiction? Right, okay. Which parts are false? Which, if any? Um, okay, well, obviously, yeah, the two... The, my life in water. Okay, what does that say? Owned the trailer part where I supposedly lived. Calls me his funniest resident. Finally, someone who appreciates my jokes, but seriously, what kind of life did I live here? Rose, recognised me in the diner at Bright Falls. Says I moved away after Logan <laughs> died. Yeah, Logan's part of the story. Logan is not dead, but what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. And then Logan's part in the story, so this is obviously yeah we're gonna we're gonna end up finding out more. Uh, the trail of the cult. So Balam, there is a trailer park nearby called Watery Trailer. Park. Yeah. A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I do, bro, I overthink everything. I overthink everything in terms of tasks. Let's profile. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They believe it. They understand it's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, they know about it. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? 
Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Oh! Her spear key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. Yeah. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. That's what I would do. I would play along as well. To be fair, I would play along. That makes total sense to play along. Um, I suppose, with that being said, is there anything here? Television, radio, weapon upgrade. Oh my gosh, have we got enough? We have, but what's that? Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. Increase the magazine side by 50%. I don't think we need that. I'm actually going to save for again and again. I think that's what I'm going to save for. Um, right, okay. I'd like to see my trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Okay, thank call you. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Right, let's just go here. Okay, so the spare keys to the trailer are in the Coffee World gift shop, and that goes here. Elmo said someone at Coffee World could help me, and it looks like they're from the gift shop from what he just said on the uh, what he said to Elmo to say. Elmo is certain that I used to live here, that I owned a trailer here, that I am a member of the community. The Costellas think I lived in the trailer park with Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. It's weird. Why aren't mine affected? And let's just. Re um, he thinks I owned a trailer here. Weird. Key to my trailer at Coffee World. They really think I lived here. This is unnerving. But at least I can exploit it to get inside the trailer. That, yeah. The spare key is at Coffee World. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascalas. He's ringing. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? I want to see if she picks up. See how it's just ringing? Where are they? Because I see the roller coasters going on in the background. I see the amusements going on in the background. So where are they? There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. That's fine. Game saved. Okay, here we go. Yep, getting ready for some fun, bro. I'll tell you what. You know when something's going to happen in this game. I'd like to think nothing's going to happen. What was that? Pun right now in the middle of the day. In the middle of the day. It's daytime. It's daytime. Hello? Get your torch out. Yeah, come for me then. Whoa! What the shit? Flash? Get, get yourself down. Throw an axe. Go on, throw an axe. Throw an axe. Throw an axe. Coming out in broad daylight on my turf, on my turf, in my setting. Woo! Wow! Single 
people turned wow. out to be taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? I don't know, but I've only got two bullets, so could we please... Could we please not do this right now? Yep, get me in here. Get me in here. Turn this on right now. Oh, come on, you piece of shit, bro. Yep, that's one. Two. Light that bad boy up right now. Ammo? Please? Yes. Jeez Louise, bro. Jeez Louise. They scared the crap out of me. Fair play. What does that say? What does that say? Let me read that. Whoa, let me read that. Let me read that, please. Saga in Watery Woods. Saga was... Oh, wait, can we... Oh. Should we try that again? Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. I love it how it gave us that after it happened. That's that's really nice of you. Another locked box. Is this a, hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. Does it say anything else? I changed the code as asked. Well, what, what's the code then? Oh, snap. This is... Oh, bro, I've, I've never been so in love with the look of a game and so terrified of a game, bro. Right, let the creepy ass music play for a second whilst I go back down here because I wanted to explore this section. Because this is... This is where that guy came from, right? Oh, look. Another rhyme. Another rhyme. What's that? A deer doll? A moose doll. Oh, this is weird. And then the gentle beast of a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Yeah, see, we've got, I mean, we've got a few, but none that I can really match up at the moment. Just finding a few things. My biggest concern right now... Oh, there's arrows. There's no crossbow here. I'm trying to piece it together. I really am. The codes are difficult. The thing is, is I know like, if we was in medium difficulty at least, we'd have more stuff, right? It's kind of my fault I've chosen this difficulty. But at the same time... We're kind of smashing it, right? I'm doing okay. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. I've died a couple of times, I know, and we... we There's another cult stash. Another one? Um, green, green, green. Right, right. So we're going. Let's go. Please give me something good. Alcohol. Alcohol. Brilliant. And, and, and what bullets were they? I don't even know if they're ones we can use. I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. It looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox 
and some weird knitting by the corpse too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know that the cult of the tree means business. Right, well, we've got... Uh, we haven't, yeah, we haven't, we haven't got ammo. Right? What is this propane tank? Verbal gas canister detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. And we've got a crossbow bolt. And we haven't got a crossbow. L would love a crossbow right now. I would love a crossbow right now. Oh, there's a page right here that I missed. What's this say? Mm. Watery. I've just healed for no reason. What had kept watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Right. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. Okay, so essentially, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a dying... It's a little bit of a dying town, right? It's a little bit of a dying um, area. It's not doing great. If we go onto the map right now, I need to also go onto the map a little bit more just to see. This loops back around, I think. It does indeed. This loops back around. We've only got nine bullets. I really need to just be hitting headshots with these nine bullets. Lucky there's a little bit of an aim assist, and I'm abusing the absolute crap out of it. Look at this. Streamside stash key. So yeah, I haven't even found that yet. Right. I think we need to press on then. Right? There's definitely going to be more people down here. What's up here? Ammo? Ammo, baby. Was there someone down here? Motorcycle club, listen to him. Motorcycle club. Let's try and get up. There's a light here. What? And that light's on. Welcome back. And boy, do we have some breaking news. That's sure to knock your socks off. You can read those subtitles, guys. I'm confused as to where it's coming from. Oh, wow, there's a Ferris wheel? Dude, this is massive. I'm just a bit confused. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Oh, seven fragments? Oh my gosh, yeah, we've, we've, we've got the semi-auto. I lowered my rifle standing on the car's roof. I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe. Thanks to me, I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name. And I, could, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fibre crafts and being the world's top ecology expert. Someone explain what that is. Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across, my, across his beautiful, kind face, and I fell at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. What am I reading, bro? What am I reading? Let's go, yep, straight into this 
straight into this, straight to this, straight to this, and straight to again and again. To I'm Saga, with a heightened survival instinct kicking in, it seemed like she had just squeezed down the trigger of her pistol once as the Taken was coming closer and closer, but the gun kept firing again and again faster than possible, like she was rapidly pulling the trigger. Mm, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Tapio's weather report. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. I think this is the one. For those of you, just I don't think so. Welcome back and this one. Do we let's have some break let's actually sure to knock your socks off. Listen to it. Davis family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. That's right. Our favorite sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, can now be enjoyed in smoked hickory, teriyaki, and hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla Nursing Home and thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Oh, dear. You know, when I'm feeling stiff... I find a light snack helps. He did not just say that. Did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because today was the fish soup with crackers. You're allowed up to four crackers, but I only take one unless I have a glass of cranberry juice. Fish soup. I ran out of cranberry juice at breakfast, which is at seven. I didn't take the oatmeal today because it makes me gassy before cribbage, and I can't fo So you didn't try the jerky. Got it. Well, that's... Too bad, Donna. Their new teriyaki flavor sure does hit the spot. Why are you rubbing it in her face? teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday. That sounds menu. nice. Dinner's at five, but we all know the salmon takes longer to prepare, that and then you're nice. late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? I agree. Teriyaki is a shit flavor. <laughs> who? Is that Tapio? How are you on the line? I couldn't end the call. You've been on the phone this entire time? Yes, <laughs> I hate teriyaki. Well, it's delicious on jerky. So, let's give a big thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. Wendy? No, that can't be right. Wendy went missing in 2010. Oh! I heard she's dead. No, I'm, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis, that's the dead one. She's dead. Dead. Right. Well, that's our time. Remember to keep your coffee warm and your chin up because that sun shines right around the corner. <laughs> Pat Main signing off. Right. Uh, well, that's our time. Sun shines right around the corner, so I'll leave you with a sunny little ditty to carry you through the day. <laughs> Pat Main signing off. Right, well, that's our time. We'll be right back after this next song by the rock and roll sensation National Nightmare. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. While we're here, should we quickly go to the case board as well? Because there's a few things on these cape. Yeah, we've got a few of these lunch boxes now. So we've got this one, which was lunchbox found next to the radio tower outside Waltery. Um, more fan fiction with zombies and. Mycology, not going to lie, I'd read more of these. Nursery rhymes, we found a couple. Yeah, Moose Doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle, and this is in watery rhymes. Doesn't look right. What? Bright Falls? Oh no, dolls, 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 dolls. Of course. Uh, I love the antlers and its little face, nicely made. Yeah, these ones are really nicely made. And they look different to the ones... Actually, no, they don't. Dear Doll used to solve the <laughs> rhyme puzzle. Kind of hard to tell it's a deer. I suppose clothes pins are a limiting medium. Yeah, I would say so. I would say so, Saga. Cult stashes. Stash found in watery woods. Watery, watery area. Nice. The note inside talks about dead, taken, lunchboxes, knitting. Interesting. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, that was well, that was worth it, I think. I mean, I want to... Ooh! Oh, I thought that was an uh, arrow. My bad. I really want the crossbow because... Oh, hang on. Is that what I think it is? 
Oh, baby. What have I got in here? A flare? Yep, yeah, we'll take the flare. Mm, 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 mm. We'll take the flare, all right? Yep, that's the... Oh. More of those rhymes. Yeah. Another one. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. Whoa. Mmm. Okay. Okay, I, I say now, shall we... We should probably continue the horror aspect by getting ourselves back into the mix. There's only one way to do it, bro. The reason I'm terrified, uh, or one of the reasons, I should say, I mean, like, the game just being as terrifying as it is, 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 is one reason enough. That's so good. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, uh, we got yeah. Th that is like panic, panic. I'm gonna use that as that's the panic option. That's the if I really need to get rid of the guy and he's getting really close, we can do that. Yep, jump that. Oh, you're just gonna pop down. Okay. Yep, you could do that. Check for any ammo right now. Check for any ammo right now. Um, I don't like bridges. This is pretty though. I'm just worried someone's gonna. They've got me looking round. What's up here? Oh, it's gonna be another lunchbox. Look, 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 look. look. Whose house is that? Open this up. Can you go there? Oh, there's no way you don't go there. Look at that. You can see inside of it. More of those kids' lunchboxes. Ah, it's there. More fragments. And what's this? Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction project got mixed into some of these stashes. I don't know which ones. I posted some online and they're getting pretty good reviews. But I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Oh, a bit late for that. A <laughs> bit late for that, bro. Let's go to the cases right now. Let's just do that now. Nope, 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 nope. Lunchboxes. Said to leave them. That's interesting. Wanted them to leave them. If the author of these pages wanted privacy, that ship has sailed, I'm afraid. <laughs> exactly that. Exactly that saga. Now, we've got 10. We're very close to getting another weapon upgrade, which is pretty interesting. My concern is if we do... Uh, I don't know whether to use it or not, because if we do use it, would it be sensible to use it with everything we've got, right? Like the shotgun. We know where the shotgun is. We just don't know when to use it. Fishing? Who was fishing right by Coffee World? Who's been fishing by an amusement park? What fish are you going to get? Do you know what I mean? Hello? There's a shadow in there. They must think I'm stupid. Hello? Ah, oh, save point. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just read this script point. Oh, I'm happy there, bro. I'm happy here. Before we end the coffee world. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy here. Scratch on the hunt. Let's see what this says. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night. More sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull. Like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him. Directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. 
filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. A detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we are going to leave it here because we are right by Coffee World. Um, hang on, let's just grab this. We'll grab everything from here. Oh, boy, we've got so much ammo. But let's just quick save again. Yeah, guys, we're going to leave this right here. This looks like the best place to leave it. We've got Coffee World right outside, and uh, I reckon it's going to get insane. So make sure you like the video. Comment down below what you're thinking of this game so far. Subscribe to the channel, join the community. It's so nice seeing more of you coming in. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.